When he's not striking out opponents on the mound, the Red Sox Kurt Schilling can be found battling enemies on the web. This is how you get around in the world when you have a couple bucks. The star pitcher loves multiplayer online games where his identity remains anonymous. Really, who I am is kind of irrelevant. And the 41-year-old digs the fantasy worlds. I'm the average male. I'm very obsessive compulsive about my hobbies. But now Schilling's here. turning his love of gaming into a video game business called 38 Studios. The name comes from his jersey number. I didn't have a whole lot of interest in just kind of doing something, opening a restaurant, doing the things that guys do. I wanted to do something I was passionate about. 45 employees in Maynard, Massachusetts are designing a game to be played by many people at once. You play single player games, you're relying on computer coding in artificial intelligence. When you add the human element to it, uh, a lot of different things can happen. And I think that that variable is, is what has made this space so big. Last year, the massively multiplayer industry generated $1 billion in subscription sales. In the next four years, that's projected to grow to $1.5 billion. You're looking at revenues on a global scale that are just staggering and growing at an epic rate. But exactly what employees are creating is highly classified. This horse and rider is the only image they would reveal. Oh, and a drawing of a half-horse, half-man centurion Schilling visualized. Does he remind you of yourself? No, gosh, no. <laughs> but Schilling's ambitions are no secret. Right on his business card, it says he wants to achieve world domination through gaming. We want to be the most successful entertainment company on the planet in the space. Schilling envisions a PC-based entertainment property, enhanced by tools like handheld games, cell phones, even television and movies. We're looking at a Hollywood-type production. You're looking at... 60 plus million dollars to put this product out, uh, a multi-year development cycle. The company's been bankrolled by the multimillionaire, but in January will announce a second round of financing from a group of strategic partners. Schilling chose not to go the venture capitalist route. Because anybody can write a check. Um, but after you've written that check, how do you make us a better company? 38 Studios faces big competition from established game companies. I think there's a lot of people out there that are looking at this and going, yeah, whatever. But the company's CEO says Schilling's hired an all-star lineup to help. The art director is Todd McFarlane, the famed comic book creator. The creative director is fantasy author Ari Salvatore. Understands that you get great people in and get out of their way and let them do what they do well and uh, then he leads and and accelerates and and keeps people engaged and, and enable us to do uh, what we do now Schilling's Massachusetts game challenge announced Friday's open to students studying game design at a university or college the contest is designed to energize local engineers artists and designers to get them to show off their skills First prize is $3,000, but Schilling tells me winners may also be able to land a job at 38 Studios. In the newsroom, Mont Fennel, NECN.